Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome to, well, something very different. It's Dwarf Fortress. Yes, it's out on Steam, finally. I've played Dwarf Fortress for years and years and years, uh, but I haven't played it for a long time because I knew this version was coming. Um, so I'm very rusty, but I kind of know what I'm doing. Um, so we have traveled from the mountain homes, mountain homes, and we have founded, what the hell, Tiris Tuvar. The Rimmeld. Rimmeld. Strike the Earth. Okay. Uh, I'm going to pause. <laughs> so here's our caravan. Uh, let's have a look at what dwarves we got. Uh, do, 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 do. Well, I'm going to turn the music down a little bit. In the settings. I'm going to the game game sound down a little bit as well. There we go. Um, so here's our caravan. We have arrived. It's now broken. <laughs> That's a cool detail. Uh, can I zoom in at all? No. I can zoom out there. Or I can zoom in more. Okay, good. Um, so first off we have Degel or Degel. 64. Um, Alona who's tough and easily stressed <laughs> sloppy. Okay. Cool. But, uh, proficient Mason. Very nice. Stonecutter, stone carver, and an engraver. And I'm recording this live on Twitch, by the way. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I will have uh, comments coming in. Oh, Millie, shush. I literally just started recording. Go away. Just stop it. No. All, any time I press record, she's like, arr, arr, arr. It's silly. Uh, and then we have Eden or Eden, Mighty Heat, <laughs> Mighty Theater. That is a cool second name. Um, a planter and record keeper. Okay, that's quite handy, actually. We have Atir, Fisher Dwarf. Okay, a bunch of loners. <laughs> uh, metal Crafter and Gem Cutter. Okay. Tosid, the expedition leader, who is an adequate <laughs> organizer. Yes, sure, that qualifies you to be expedition leader. Jesus. Uh, there must be more around. We start with seven. Is there a way to see the dwarf list? Yeah, here we go. So we also have Dishmub. Dishmub. Can you... Zoom to them. Oh, there he is. Um, a miner. Proficient miner, skilled appraiser. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, we have Ilral, a woodworker. Um, proficient miner and a skilled appraiser. Oh. As, a, as well. Okay, very nice. Um, who else have we got? I think that's everybody. Yeah, we've got seven. Seven dwarfs. Uh, Shout out for YouTube channel. Yes, yeah, Silent Service and Gaming. Absolutely. Check it out. <laughs> um, so, what are we looking at? Well, here's our caravan. And we're kind of on the snowy a bit weird. Um, let's uh, see if we can zoom out, actually. So, this is where our fortress is, um, and one of the nice things about it is you can kind of see that there's a lower level, and then Melly, shush! And then it comes up like this, and then this is up. Uh, so if we go down to the low level, shh, I'm going the wrong way. There we go. So this should be a river. But, uh, I'm not sure if we go under. Yes, yeah, this is a brook. But it's a little hard to tell. Hmm, might be dried up. Anyway, 
Um, because it is quite warm here. Lots of sand and basalt. You have some trees. Larch. Oh, thank you very much for the follow. Um, a bunch of letters. <laughs> uh, no thank you. For spam bots. Uh, must have actually followed me to do that. Yeah, it's a spam bot. Never mind. What is that noise? Oh, hello. <laughs> I'm just going to stop the recording for a minute. Yeah, I think this is definitely a good good place for the entrance to go. So let's get these trees chopped down. That one and that one. Oops. It's not quite used to the steam controls. What is this? A sapling. Cut that out too. Probably. And then let's start digging into the hillside a little bit. Um, probably three wide to start with. So we can have a trading depot um, in here somewhere. And then I probably want to carve out a meeting room. Something, something like that. And some bedrooms for our seven dwarves. You always start with seven. One, two... Actually, could make the meeting room fairly long. Three, four, one, uh, five. Yeah, no, we're gonna need to, need to make it longer. Do something like this: one, two, three, four, five, six, and. Seven. There we go. So just very basic accommodation for for us to start with. I'm not seeing much in the way of plant life, which might be an issue. But uh, let's see if we can get a plant gathering order going. Uh, the other thing we should do is set up a couple of stockpiles, which I think are here. Yeah. So stockpile, uh, this one here uh, is going to be for wood, which we can store outside. Uh, that's not a problem. We're not going to need to move everything inside just yet. So we have a nice wood stockpile. And then if we order up a... Carpenter's Workshop next to it. Oh yeah, I need to actually chop some stuff down, right? <laughs> Get some stone or something. Okay, we'll let them come down and start digging that out. Oh, and uh, remove ramps. There we go. Here comes... Who's this? Dishmab! Digging away. We've got sand, so it's just... Just into the sand. Thank you, Saito Shepherd, for the follow. Is it possible to pre build a pre treadnought in Dwarf Fortress? Probably. Um, <laughs> you can build all sorts of th things in Dwarf Fortress. So, yeah, just dug into the sand um, at the moment. Nothing. Gonna be living like hobbits for a bit until we can get down to some stone. Oh, they already chopped down those trees. Wow, that's that's pretty quick. Um, workshop, carpenter, right there, made out of apple wood logs, and then someone should come along and build that. There we go. Thank you, Aiden. Do 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 do. Right, and now we can add some tasks. Make bed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, we'll need like doors, uh, wooden, wooden door. I'd I mean, I'd rather make all this stuff out of stone, but it's fine for now. One, two, 
three. Uh, is this just like a repeat button? Yeah, forever. I don't want to do that though. <laughs> just want to repeat it once. Um, anyway, that'll do for now. Make some beds and doors. Uh, and I guess... What is that? Colony of bees. Ooh, we could get honey going. That would be good. Um, and can you chop down some more trees, please? There we go. Do, 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 do. What the? Well, a cat has been adopted. Okay, wow. <laughs> okay. Okay, but this will be our this will be our basic kind of layout. What have we got here? Silty clay. Okay. I need to, I guess, dig down a little bit. on that but we do have like just basalt right here that we could dig into if we wanted but it is quite handy to just I think we should maybe get some storerooms on the go so let's get a what's that of yeah something like that get a couple of storerooms going oh another stock bar we should set up as well before I forget Nothing too fancy. Yeah, something like that. That is going to be for rubbish. <laughs> I love the little um, little flag or signs they put on them. Yeah, getting lots of things built up. Add door. Another one. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Eight should be enough for now. Okay, that's cleared out. That's good. Uh, what's this? Oh, pe roots. Okay, makes sense. Uh, then let's get another stockpile in here. And this is going to be for food. And then get another one on the go. Um, hey, the night in yellow. Yeah, uh, just just a little stream. Just, just be missing it. Um, so I thought I might as well get back to it. Yeah, they should. Yeah, they're coming and putting the food in to the storeroom. How's the? Yeah, we've got all the beds done, so we can place those down. Uh, build, uh, furniture, bed, bed, peachwood bed, oh. build, furniture, bed, keep building off the placements, oh shush Melly. Ballywison, thank you for the follow, one there, one there, one there, uh, one there, and one there. Perfect. And they should come and start to... Yeah, put the beds in. Fantastic. No, no, it's not Dreadnoughts. Uh, I am still recording Dreadnoughts, of course. But I'm, I'm doing it mostly offline at the moment. 
Uh, okay, and then let's get a another storage room. Oops. Uh, this time for furniture. And we should probably get some farms on the go as well. Uh, let's, let's dig through down to here and let's put another door in as well. Yeah, actually, probably don't need to. Because I reckon we can get a farm going in here. Easily enough. Real time? Yeah, I think it's definitely going to be turn based, uh, the game in the future. I don't mind turn based um, at all. I think it's a good kind of mixture, but. Um, yeah, I know it's not for everyone. Right. Construction, workshops, farming, farm plots. No mud soil. Okay, bugger. Uh, cancel construction. I think we can put it on clay, though. We can use that as uh, another room. In that case, doot. Let's just keep excavating this way, in that case. How are the doors coming? Oh, they're done. Okay. So, build. Door, door. On there. On there. It's this batteries. Oh, just got a box of batteries. Very exciting. Uh, one there. 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 Uh, and one on the. F oh, no, don't have any more doors. Okay, now we need some tables and chairs. Add new task. Table. Make a wooden table. Chair. Make a wooden chair. Uh, just repeat them. <laughs> Should make just some. Yeah, she's very good at warning about torpedoes. Uh, the other thing I should do is assign these as bedrooms. So one. Is accept just. Oh, do I actually have to click on accept? Bedroom. Yeah, okay. Oh, wait, there was a multi. Multi? It contains beds in order to form bedrooms. Rooms with multiple beds will be made. No, I don't want to make a dorm. Dorm. Bed. Bedroom. Yeah. Some of the controls are new. Bedroom. 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 And this will tell the dwarfs that they're allowed to go and sleep in there. Oh, shush, Millie. And then this room here is going to be... Uh, hmm, probably not a meeting area. It's not big enough. Hmm... But we will need a dining hall, so this is going to be the dining hall. Except, except we, you know, need some 
stuff to sit on. <laughs> so what ought to happen in the room? Do, 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 do. Yeah, still not getting quite what I'm after. Let's try digging further in. Get another store room in, possibly. We've got here black sand. Okay, uh, I think what I might do then is here, I'm going to set up a workshop. Uh, I'm going to set this up as the kitchen. And we'll dig a hole here so that we can access the food from the kitchen. Boom, 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 boom. It does alternate them between chairs and tables. Yeah, we've got some chairs and tables. You can see them getting built here. Build, furniture, table. Okay, that doesn't do what I <laughs> what I was expecting it to. It's like, oh, build a chair. It's like, nope. Build furniture. Ah, oh, silly me. Anyway, with some chairs down. This means that the dwarfs will be able to actually, you know, eat. Uh, easy meal, repeat. Good. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, this is much slower paced. Right. Can we build a farm plot on the clay, though? I think we can. Hold on. Build. Workshop. Farming. On plot. Should be able to use that. Uh, and then they should come along and build it. <laughs> Zoom in a bit more. I'd love another level, another level of zoom. That would be nice. Just come to plant it. At here. Okay, I, yeah, that is set up. Okay, so spring, summer, autumn, winter. Right, winter, plump elements. Spring. Let's go for dimple cups. Summer. Sweet pods. Autumn pigtails. Okay, we're just getting a little bit of uh, this on the go. Uh, probably another one here. Right, build furniture table. One, two. Two, three, four. 
Okay, that's enough tables. You can stop making tables. But we need more chairs. Yes, I know, it has dwarves. What more do you need? <laughs> Many things. Ooh, pig tripe biscuits. Delicious. <laughs> um, the other thing we need, actually, is a still. Carve this one out. Probably gonna. I'm gonna move the furniture stockpile. Probably. It's just handy having it there for now. So you start moving more stuff inside. It's just to get a little, little bit of a basic going. No, there's no guns in Dwarf Fortress. It's pre, uh, pre gunpowder. Uh, add new task. Uh, we, oh, do we need some barrels? That's why. Uh, okay, stop making chairs. Barrel. Oh, and some bins. We don't have barrels then we can't make booze which is important <laughs> you need you need you need booze right um mm, 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 mm. Do, 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 do. okay we're getting another farm plot set up down here No seed, no seeds for dimple cups. Okay, what do we have seeds for? Can I? Only where's the? <laughs> Don't mind that. Yeah, since we have some seeds. Hi, Millie. Okay, uh, let's get another farm plot put down then. Uh... Workshops, farming, farm block. Oop. Yeah, how do I uh, how do I access this? Uh, yeah, this is commands. What citizens object? Nope. Hmm. Can't do work orders yet. Yeah. Crafted artifacts, objects, symbols. No, we don't have any of this stuff. Normally you can just like see. Maybe I'm getting it wrong. <sighs> we have a masterpiece peachwood chair. Since it's nice. Very fancy chair. It's snowing in spring. Oh, great. Do, 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 do. Right. What do we have seeds for? Plump helmets? Uh, possibly because we planted all of our seeds. And then grow some, I don't know, cave wheat. Cory bushes. More plump helmets. Okay, you can probably stop. Oops. Stop doing that. Yeah, if I make this barrel storage for the still, 
which I think I can do. Uh, furniture, and then... Can you... No, you... They're, they're used... Oh, uh, you can do it as a custom? Yeah, custom. Furniture... None... Barrels only. So you set it to barrel only, then they'll only put barrels in. Build. Furniture. Okay. Uh, Let's get some chairs in. There we go. Right. <laughs> Elf Breaker. That is a good name for a weapon. And yeah, it's looking all right. I mean, it's pretty basic what we've got at the <laughs> very basic, I would say. Um, and we have zero defense, uh, so I'm not playing this at all sensibly. But you know, for a basic start, this is this is fine. I'm just thinking, I might need some more. Yeah, it's like plants and stuff here. Let's go. Find out what those are. And let's get some more wood. Boom, 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 boom. And let's start digging down a little bit. So I'm going to carve out a... Ah, because I haven't tried doing stairs yet. Oh, it must span multiple elevations. Let's go down like three levels. Oh, that is such a cool little graphic. Okay, I like that. And we're still in sand, but I think this is going to be stone. Yes, fabulous. And this is going to be our fortress proper down here, then. Okay. Let's dig out a little entrance. What kind of wood uh, floor is there? Stone. We've got basalt. Micro microcline. Very nice. And he hematite. That is iron ore. Ooh. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Right. Um Well, we kinda need we kinda want to do is to plan this out sensibly, which I'm not doing at all, because it's more fun. <laughs> if you don't plan anything. <laughs> um Okay, I'm um, trying to think. We we need we can get like masonry workshops and stuff like that going. That would be good. But this is going to be our kind of mine slash. Hmm, not sure. Anyway, let's get some corridors built. Uh, actually, I should maybe think about this being. Where we would d d defend, so you know, all all this stuff up here is 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 very temporary. 
but this will be our actual fortress. So if enemies, potential enemies come down, we want... Oh, we're not going to get any traders down here or anything. So we're going to want this to be somewhat defensible, I suppose. So they're going to come down into here. And then... We could, we could do the old uh, drawbridge. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, we could do a drawbridge. So there'll be a little flat bit. So they'll come down here. And yeah, we want them to come into basically a corridor where we can shoot them. So something like that. And so the, any enemies that come down will come down that stairwell, then come along here, and I'm going to have a a gallery of here so we can shoot them. And they're going to get to this bit, and there's going to be a drawbridge. But I'm going to have to remind myself how you, how the hell you do that. We're also going to need a couple more workshops, which I'm just going to put outside. So I'm going to get a... Stone worker. Out here. Just out of peach wood logs. And I'm going to put a... Small... Stone stockpile here. And we're also going to need a mechanic out here as well. <laughs> Ooh, fancy. Uh, what that means is we should be able to build a drawbridge. Tetrahydrate. All sorts of fancy stuff we're finding down here. Um, so yeah, they come down here and then we're going to have... And then th we'll have to dig this down as a kind of pit, basically. But we'll do that later and then it'll come over to the actual main fortress entrance, which will be down here. So I'm going to extend this down a little bit. And then we're going to have our main fortress entrance, like so. Bum, 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 ba -dum. dig all this out. It's mostly basalt. Lovely. And then, yeah, if we dig down, we'll be able to uh, do the pit. But what I can also do is I can set up the shooting gallery already. 
So it's just going to extend either side like this. And then up here. How's things going on? Um, upstairs. Fine. Can we make some booze? Yeah, brew drink from plant. Repeats forever. Because we need booze. Um, <laughs> get some more barrels. Would you? Thank you. It does look really nice, the uh, update. Like, I am a big fan of it. Now he's getting a drink, that's why. People are just kind of chilling in their rooms. Do we get anything planted here? Oh, we're in summer. No seeds for feckin' anything. Right, do you know what? Should just do the good old dwarven plump helmets all seasons. <laughs> oh yeah, this is an amazing game. There's so much to it as well. I mean, take uh, take one of the. I didn't even click on any of these other tabs. Like his uh, dish map, you can see what he was thinking about. It's satisfied at work. Euphoric due to inebriation. Nice. Oh, he wants a goblet couple mug. Okay, cool. Then we can get some of those built. Uh, do 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 do. Cup. Goblet. Mug. Really? Is that a crafts dwarf one? Workshop. Craft. Uh, pop it over here for now. Could make. Oh, do I just have to go stone craft, and then hope it's it's a uh, oops rock uh, rock mug? There we go. Make some rock mugs, please. There we go. Make our dwarf happy. Anyway, <laughs> totally got distracted. So here's Aiden here. You know, satisfied, and so on and so on and so on. This is just the overview. Like, you can see what items they're holding. So she has a turkey leather dress, for instance. And you can click on that, and it gets you a, a, a more detailed view. They have their health, which includes incredibly detailed uh, stuff. You can see their skills, if they have a room, what labours they have enabled, their personalities, <laughs> what they're thinking, if they're in the military, any groups they're a member of. So she's part of the Cult of Strangers religion. Um, and what she thinks of other people. So gets on pretty well with all the other dwarves. She worships, worships Doran, the, the who I don't know anything about, but you can find out about. 
and all this is procedural, by the way. Um, <laughs> unmet need, fight, cause trouble, and argue. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> uh, another thing we could do is we could get like chests or cabinets built. Uh, probably make them out of stone as well, actually. And new task cabinet. Make some cabinets. <laughs> Need to write some coursework. Yeah. Right, let's see how the uh, digging is going. Oh, okay. So the other thing we can do is smooth. Yes, this one. You can smooth these out so that archers will, I think that assigned it, be able to shoot through them. It should come down to do that. I think I assigned it as a job. He's making a rock mug. Did that actually get assigned? I can actually tell. Well, if I to give it a smooth order. Yeah, see, the smooth order actually does a thing. Oh, do I have to smooth it first? Okay. Try smoothing it, smoothing it out first. Smooth, smooth. Great for uh, leveling uh, dwarf skills up. <laughs> Doing this, by the way, and it makes everything look nicer. Get nice smooth walls. Then we can start digging the pit. Dig, dig, dig. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Oh, we're also going to need some mechanisms before I forget. Add new task. Mechanism. Mechanism. Uh, build me three. Oops. It's just not how I'm expecting it to work. It's like, yeah, I'm done. It's uh, no, but. Uh... Is it. Finished goods? I think so. Better. Uh, is it stone cutting for uh, smoothing or engraving? I can never remember. Okay, now can I assign? Yes. So I had to. Pretty sure. Yeah, I had to smooth it. First, and then you get this, which is basically like an arrow slit, so we can shoot through it. Oh, I should get some uh, stone blocks too. 
pretty handy. So stop, stop doing that. Rock blocks. Uh, build furniture. Was it cabinets I built? Yeah, we've got plenty of them. I'll make the doors a bit happier. Have a wee cabinet. So this is basically a little shooting gallery. <laughs> Again, I'm, I'm kind of thinking in advance. So then we'll need to dig a pit. Now, I'm going to build this from here. Wait, I want to dig down. Yeah, dig a channel. Uh, like. that <laughs> this is where I mess it up so what the, the point of the pit is enemies will come down and then the pit will be covered by a drawbridge so we can either just shoot them and fight them but if they're a nasty enemy we can retract the drawbridge and then there's a, just a pit so they will not be able to get to us, basically. Uh... Ah, sneaky. Yes, I know. And I'm going to try and construct it in a... Like, like that. So it goes down to a sharp edge. Um, I don't know if that's going to work. I don't know if I'm doing this right, actually. Yeah, I don't think I am. Move that. Oh, it's just showing me the the as it goes down. Okay, that's fine. Uh, go down again. Oops, channel. Go down again. Because I don't want to get my miner trapped. <laughs> and you can do way more complicated things than this. Like, you can have the... You can fill this with water so they drown. Or spikes. Um... Uh, or lava. <laughs> All good. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Oh, that, that ha stuff happens all the time. Like... <laughs> that stuff happens all the time in Dwarf Fortress. It's like, oh, no, 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 I dug the wrong square, and now my whole fortress is flooding with lava, and oh, I'm dead. <laughs> the whole fortress is dead. 
all the time. But the way this should have worked, especially if I smooth out that bottom edge, Okay, it's just so it's, it, it shows it in a kind of weird way. So basically, this is this is now a a, a pit. It goes down, 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 down. And then it's the bottom. Um, and it's kind of step. It's kind of stepped, and then with a flat down the middle, just so that I can still access it. Because uh, I want to build the bridge on top, so we can go over, and then the access to the bottom of the pit. There will be access uh, access to the bottom. Probably, um, I'll have to think about that, like, so that we can later on we can carve it out fully if we want to. But for now, it's it's basically like a just a way of stopping them getting over. But currently, we can't get to this side, um, so we need to build a bridge. Uh, Instructions. Bridge. <laughs> Set the draw direction below. So we want it to come up and block everything off. So we want it to pull. Uh, we want it to pull this way. And then we want the bridge to go like this. So you can see it's put like the little cogs right at the bottom. So that's basically what we want the bridge to look like. We build it out of basalt blocks, six of them. So they should come and build this. <laughs> an iron am I an iron warrior? No, this is Imperial Fist stuff. <laughs> this is very basic. <laughs> this is not inventive at all. <laughs> I think they're moving the blocks currently. You can see them sometimes they go in underneath. Which does worry me. But again, partly why we want to build it with a sloped um, pit underneath is so that they can uh, they can like access it just now. Because losing a dwarf at this stage is really bad. Oh, we've got more dwarfs. I didn't even notice a migrant wave had arrived. Some migrants have arrived. Bloody migrants. Okay. Um, well, they're potentially useful people, but I seriously doubt it somehow. Wee! So there we have a bridge. Cool. Now, this area is going to be where doors come in, or from the outside. So we'll probably have a barracks off from here, like over here somewhere or something like that, and then we'll have the main entrance to to the fortress. So the question becomes, where do we have the lever to pull this up? Because <laughs> that's the next thing to do. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have our 
barracks here, which will have like an armory or something off it. But off of it, I'm going to have a lever room. So this is going to where we're going to put the lever. Just dig it out, first of all. Oh, you're new. Ast. Hmm. Dabbling stone cutter. And a competent miner. Very nice. So yeah, we're going to need to start getting stuff inside, proper bedrooms, things of that nature. There we go. So this is going to be our a little barrack room, and this is going to be the lever room. So, uh, machines, a lever, right there. Get them to put the lever in. Do, 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 do. Oh, they're actually using the wheelbarrows. Nice. Uh, oops, wrong way. Might need a couple more of those. Wheel. Wheel. Wheelbarrow. Oops. Wheel. Wheel. Wouldn't be there. Thank you. Oh, okay, the lever's in. So the next thing we need to do is to link the lever to the bridge. Okay, that should be it. We should see a dwarf come down and do that. Hey, Kent. How you doing? Have you uh, come across... What the hell? The woodcutter punches the grey langer in the neck with her left hand, bruising the muscle and tearing apart the sp upper spine's nervous tissue. Um, okay. So this is a grey lang langer. I don't even know what that is. Oh, it's attacked one of our dogs. A lot of dodging. And then... The stray dog catches a grey langer in the right front leg, tearing the fat and bruising the muscle. Okay, so is this still going on? This combat? Yes, it is. There's that grey langer. Overcome by terror. And he's running away. Stood up and run away. Yeah, migrants. Ooh, copper. Okay. Once we get the forges up and running, that'll be uh, good. Uh, yeah, not too bad. Um, have they linked this up yet? No. Uh, yeah, I've been undergoing some oxygen therapy for the long COVID which has helped quite a bit okay so this is now linked to the bridge let's test it <laughs> because the worst thing is when goblins come and you go and pull the lever and it doesn't work pull the lever here comes dish map to pull the lever it was pulled by Aiden. And boop! Up goes the drawbridge. It now forms a wall. And enemies can like come down to here, but then they can't go anywhere. So they'll turn around and go back. And we can just keep shooting them. Okay, awesome. Uh, pull the lever again. And now we can go over it. Perfect. Okay, basic defenses installed. Yeah. Uh, we should probably set up some traps as well. But uh, we can do that another time. 
blissful dining in a great dining room. Wow, cool. She's seven, to be fair. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, I was going to do bill, furniture... No, yeah, well, not furniture. Build, workshop. Farm plot. <laughs> yeah, because I am getting a little bit worried about our food stocks, but we'll be fine. So, yeah, we'll we'll deal with that side of things later. Uh, we should probably get a trade depot built as well. We we'll just stick that outside for now. Uh, where is it? Hmm. Oh, yeah. It's its own thing. Um. Let's make it out of basalt blocks. Oh, by the way, we can stop making blocks. <laughs> I've got, got, got enough bloody blocks. Uh, oh, there's a combat. Hold on. Should also be able to get rid of... Is it smooth to get rid of these? Yeah. You can get rid of these stones by uh, smoothing them off. We'll get rid of them. Because they're just in the way. Uh, oh, is this another Lima? Enraged at enemies. Okay. <laughs> I love the combat in this. is so insane. Level worker punches the Grey Langer in the mouth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the force pulls the head, tearing apart the fat and tearing apart the upper spine's nervous tissue. Tendon in the upper spine has been torn. Grey Langer falls over. This is, I think it's this thing. I don't think there's anything else after that. There's a dog attacking it. Well, one thing I should get, if we're having trouble with these bloody things, is... A butcher! <laughs> and you can just do plump helmets all the time. Mm, delicious plump helmets. Oh, okay, there we go. We have plump, plump helmet seeds. <laughs> do, 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 do. Catch the monkeys and turn them into delicious food. That will be fine. <laughs> Grey langurs. How incredibly unpleasant. Right. The other thing we can do is think about... So this is going to be our main level. So we're going to have barracks. We're going to have armory. This is going to be military over here. And then we kind of want the main entrance to our fortress. Going to do like that. And then we're going to have a meeting area. Like so. Which is going to connect to a... 
stairwell. And then on this side, we will have dining hall. Um, might even be worth making it a bit bigger than that. Yeah, if we have this as our dining hall, like a big, or like a big meeting area, slash tavern, and then we've got a tavern, we're going to want kitchens, uh, kitchen and a still here, with a food and drink stock pile. Something like that. I'll take them a while to carve out. And then, yeah, we're going to need some more beds and things. Oh, one thing I could do. I go back up to the um, surface level. We could build a little dorm for the other people who've arrived. A new task door and new task bed repeat. Eternal hello. Thank you for the resub. Dwarfs. Indeed dwarfs. Oh, we found some gems. Here we have zircons, Ooh, obsidian. Fancy. All sorts of things. Obsidian. We can make swords out of that. Can't we? Can we do that here? Hmm. Make a weapon rack. I'm sure you could make obsidian swords. Hmm. Hmm. 
Yeah, stone weapons. Craft Dwarf's Workshop. Ah, it's here. Rock. Short sword. Repeat. <gasps> Obsidian arrow tips. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure you can... Can you make arrow tips out of them? I think I need a different workshop for that. Is that... Bow, yeah? I'll plop one down. Uh, I'm pretty sure we need... You can't make obsidian arrow tips, but you can definitely make swords out of them. Spears or arrows? Yeah. Add new task. Yeah, make wooden crossbow. I'm gonna make a wooden crossbow. Make a couple of crossbows, would you? We'll move all this stuff inside later. But yeah, I'm, I'm sure that you can... You can... Uh, Uh, furniture. Hmm. There you go. Weapon rack. Let's have our swords to hand. But yeah, I'm sure you can use this uh, uh, use obsidian to make yeah the little rock swords, and they're actually really really good. Okay, down we go. How's the carving going? Or oh, digging? Yeah, not bad. Oh yeah, we're also doing that dormitory. One day I'll learn the hang of which way up is up and which way is down. Yeah, obsidian swords in uh, Dwarf Fortress are <laughs> insanely sharp. Uh, it's basically what they're used for. It's being super, super sharp. Bed. 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 Not you, Millie. She's looking at me. <laughs> I can see her. She's like, I am on my bed. Um, okay, you can stop making beds. Build. Uh, door. Sign this as a dorm. And now the migrants have someone to sleep. Okay, good. That's good. Uh, it's a dining hall, kitchen, brewery. Let's get the workshops built, actually. So, can I get a honey thing going? Don't put it there. Uh, make it a workshop. Okay. 
five? Or does it have to be out of clay? I think they have to be made out of clay, which is kind of annoying. Okay. Uh, anyway, back down we go. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so we're going to need a kitchen. And then we're going to need a still down here. Also, going to want to move possibly quite a lot of the stuff down here. Butcher, you can now have Tanner off from that. Butcher here. Then get a tanner there. Bum 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 bum. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Volcanic glass. Obsidian is really, really handy. Like, uh. Oh, a caravan is coming. Can't see them yet. Don't have exactly a lot to trade. Uh, make some crafts. Alert. Uh, Must need a trade depot to unload the goods. Yeah, we've got one here. Resume. The outpost liaison has arrived. Okay, cool. Green Langers are stealing stuff. <sighs> okay. That's why we're fighting them. Okay, we should definitely get some traps then. And again, partly why we want to move things inside. Could also construct just a simple wooden... Or stu we can construct a stone wall around the outside of the fortress, actually, as well. That is totally something you can do. Diplomacy! The world is the same as ever. Next year's carrot. Do we want anything in particular from the caravan? Yes, we do. Booze! Also, cheese. Um... Any seeds? Seeds. <laughs> eh. I think that'll do. Because it, it ups the prices when you request stuff. Uh, a need for crutches. Okay, need some crutches, do we? Well, we can certainly accommodate that. Crutch. Bunch. Uh, yeah, we've got plenty of wood left. Right, where are the merchants? Should be around somewhere. Ah, here they are. Let's have a look at what kind of stuff he's got. Steel swords, 
Bronze shield, very nice. Bismuth bronze, it's pretty good. It's pretty nice stuff he's got there. Uh, let's request a broker. I don't even think I have a broker. I haven't assigned one. So, yeah, I don't have one. It's fine. We don't need to do any trading just now. But um, I, mean, I could assign one, I suppose. Broker. Um, how about uh, dish map? Skilled appraiser and a novice judge of intent. Congratulations, you are now the broker. Come to the depot. <laughs> I'm busy making a wooden crutch. Stop making crutches. <laughs> Come to the depot, please. <laughs> they, they, they do. They've got one. They're at it. Shush. No job. I'm just not going to come to the depot. Ah, uh, Dwarf Fortress. Never change. <laughs> always, always does that. So fucking annoying. Okay, so we have a kitchen. We have a still and a butcher shop. That's good. The still is going to need a... Uh, oh, shush, Millie. Barrel. Store. I think that might actually be someone at my door. We'll be back in a second. <laughs> yeah, it's actually obs loads of obsidian. That is really nice. Very unusual to get just obsidian. I didn't embark looking for obsidian at all. Native copper as well. Tetrahydrate, all sorts of nice stuff. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, so this is going to be food. Ah. Oh. <laughs> what is the hotkey for accept? Food. And this is so this is butcher. We want to have a tanner. <laughs> no, it's it's. I mean. Minecraft. I mean, I don't know. We haven't gotten into uh, smelting yet. <laughs> so what rock you have and what ore you have access to is really, really important. Like, we've got some copper nuggets here, meaning we can make stuff out of copper, which is pretty nice. Um, yeah, so let's make this a barrel. Stock which I seem to remember is finished the goods and then no wait no custom
Da, 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 da. None. Oh, was not finished goods. What the hell was it? Ba, 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 ba. Barrels. Barrels. <laughs> there. It stores barrels. Okay, that's good. So that means we can come up to here and we can disassemble the kitchen still. Wait, no. Cancel removal. Cancel removal. We come up to here huh. and get rid of the, this kitchen, this still, this butcher shop, and we can repurpose these for something else. Uh, A new task, prepare easy meal, on repeat. Still, a new task, brew drink, repeat. A new task, butcher animals, re catch, butcher. And then, we should be able to tan that into leather as well. Lovely. Uh, let's actually make this even bigger. That is going to be a massive... dining hall which we absolutely do not need at present but uh, <laughs> we can uh, get it go get it get a couple of tables in here or eight a table no don't bother cancel let's order some tables then Some nice stone ones. Table. Chair. Is it a throne? Yeah, throne. Doop. Do 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 do. Oh, and uh, we also need doors. And this would be so much easier if I had a <laughs> flipping, uh, what are they called? Not bookkeeper, the other one. Should maybe get that set up actually, because that's way easier to order stuff than doing it this way. Uh, so yeah, let's go zones. This is going to be the meeting area. And this is going to be our new dining hall. I think it'll register that. So this is the main hall. So yeah, idle dwarfs will now chill down here. But mainly I want to start moving stuff inside so that we don't have monkey problems. And then down a level here, should maybe start thinking about some bedrooms actually. 
Uh, make a very simple bedroom type layout. Yeah, not that way. <laughs> dee dee dee. Dee dee dee. Just something oops easy. Why don't we cancel? How do I cancel a I've not actually tried doing that yet. Uh, no, that's remove. Ah, remove. There we go. Boop. Oh, can you do it in paint mode? Okay, that's that's a lot easier. Do -do -do. Do -do. Do -do. There we go. Yeah, because we've got 19 uh, dwarfs at the moment, so that'd be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that's 12, 14, 16, 18, <sighs> really, 20. I'm just going to chop these off for now and come back to that later uh, da, 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 da. this will give us some actually nice bedrooms <laughs> not that much night nicer but no they'll be okay I'd like a line of traps here, actually. Can we just build the traps already? Traps. Get some cage traps going. <gasps> no, wait. I know what we can do. Line mechanism. <laughs> Obsidian short sword. Done. Spicy. And I know I'm only putting one in. You can put like nine. But uh, that'll uh, that'll do. <laughs> Get those damn monkeys out. sitting there. <laughs> Basically, if the monkey goes over it, it'll go whoosh, and try and slice the monkey. Uh, can we get some cages, actually? Cage. Uh, three of them. And three more mechanisms. One, two, three. Yeah, we're still making swords. Good. <laughs> no, not the monkeys. Yes, the monkeys will. 
I'd, I'd prefer to keep them in traps, uh, catch them in cages, so I'm going to put cage traps here. So, I'd prefer to catch them in a cage, because then you can just, you know, butcher them. But, uh... <laughs> Oh, actually, that's a good point. Well, we'll want to bring animals down. Uh, okay, go back to uh, block mode. Put an animal stockpile here. Uh, the other thing we can do is we can get dwarfs actually doing something like smoothing the dining hall. Smooth it. Mm. Oh, and the meeting area. Smooth. <laughs> Don't want the doors being idle. Plus it'll look way better when it's all smoothed out. Do, 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 do. I keep going the wrong way on the scroll wheel. I wonder if there's a way to invert it. There probably is. Are those built? No, not yet. Will be soon. Oh, the finished goods stockpile. We might want to move that inside. Uh, I'm going to move it to this room here because we don't. Oh, still getting used to the keys, right? Um, do 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 do. Finished goods. And this stockpile here, we're going to remove. Remove. And that should stop them stealing stuff <laughs> quite as much. Uh, yeah, we've got a couple of mechanisms. Have we got those cages built? Yes. Okay, so trap. Cage trap. Yeah, I need one more mechanism. Good, and this is going to be animals. <sighs> Lovely. Oh, we got, um, any doors yet? Yeah, we've got microline ones. Very nice. Okay. Later on, we can do fancy things like gold doors, assuming we have gold here. I don't actually know uh, what metals we have access to. We do have copper. Copper's pretty nice. It's looking so much nicer that it's smooth. Oh, how the bedroom's coming. Oh, they're done. Okay. Oh, what do we get here? Brimstone. Fancy. Uh, we can smooth out the bedrooms as well.
Oh, thank you for the hydrate. Uh, I do still have some water left here. Thank you. Do, do, do. Yeah, people, nah, no one's ex unhappy, at least. Probably lack of beds is mostly the problem. Stolen, they're stealing actually good stuff as well. Yeah, we need, we need to deal with this. Fucking monkeys. Uh, okay. Uh, one thing we could get is a little uh, armory going. advantages now we can we can lock the door the doors like we can like lock these so people can't get in like goblins hmm what about hunting them I can't I can't remember how you sign the hunt order I have to check that uh, we got that other trap yet? Cage. Oop. Yeah, there we go. We just need to get everything that's out here in in here. <laughs> uh, so what have we got? Craft dwarf, carpenter, yeah, workshops basically. Okay. Okay, so we can have workshops here. Let's put the workshops down here, maybe. You don't want them too close to your actual dwarfs because um, they'll get grumpy. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. it, it like it, They won't like the noise, so. Uh, let's get a masonry one done so masonry will need a stone store and well whatever it produces but we'll, ha we'll have stone and then we'll probably have a storage level above this one but this will be the actual workshop level do 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 Oh yeah, uh, how are the bedrooms coming? Almost smooth. What doors we got? Just uh, the microline ones? Okay. Got a bunch of beds though. We can start getting those in. Bed, bed, bed. Bed. Beds. Pretty much the only thing you can't make out of stone. <laughs> uh, 
almost all of them. Uh, I can assign them as bedrooms as well. Uh, bedroom. I wish I knew what the. You could do multiple bedrooms at once. I mean, what does it mean by multi? I'm going to try it. What happens if we just go like, like that? Yeah, it's just going to make one big dormitory. Which is not what I want. But if I want to make multiples, it's fucking tedious. If you happen to know a better way of doing this, let me know. And yes, it was. It's, it's this tedious in classic as well. Bedroom. Except I used to know what the commands were to do it. It's like Z. And then B. Oh no, Z and then R and then B. <laughs> and then you put it down. I'm sure it was that. I'm going to get RSI doing this. <laughs> Bedroom. There we go. Let's at least assign them as bedrooms. I don't know if we have any more beds to put down. No, but what we can do is go back up to the surface. Build bed. Is it about three or four of them? Two. Okay, don't mind that. Can slowly start getting dwarfs living down stairs rather than up in the sandy bit. And this bit here can be broken down, so these uh, these bedrooms can be unassigned. Uh, Yeah, so remove the zone. They'll assign themselves bedrooms. The dwarfs. And we can remove the furniture. Can use these rooms for something else later. Remove, 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 remove. Okay. Good. Right. Uh, keep smoothing. Always be smoothing. All right, how are the workshops coming? Okay, so this is going to be mason workshop. Stone there. Let's make it out of blocks. It's always nice to make them out of blocks. And this is going to be. A new stone stockpile. As soon as that's built, 
we can get rid of the old one. Uh, that's not good. <laughs> Four out of drinks. Shit. <laughs> Please tell me that's just because I forgot to assign the feckin' drink thing. Like a Muppet. Tanner shop. Still. Yeah, brew, drink from plant. Always. <laughs> yeah, everybody's dying of thirst. I was like, um... Yeah, and we lost a dwarf. Great. Shit. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, dwarf Fortress, I love you so much. Right. Um, add a new task. <laughs> Coffin. <laughs> Stop doing these. Shit. <laughs> Uh Yeah, there he is. This is not good, we're probably all going to die. Bloody migrants. Migrants migrants are always so annoying. Um Sometimes it's fun to uh, disable them and just play with your original seven for quite a while. Uh, and then enable the migrants, which you actually have the thing working. Yeah, everybody's just going to die. Yeah, everybody's dying. <laughs> well, that was a short thought. <laughs> We've got some drink now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Lost three people from that. <sighs> oh, my word. Four? Yeah, okay, this is, this is not going to be okay. Coffin. 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 We need... Yeah. Honor our heroes. Uh, in the meantime, uh, very quickly, no. Except this is going to take corpses. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> throw, throw the corpses on the pile. Uh... get a proper memorial later, but I have a suspicion that everyone is just going to die. Like, literally everyone. We're down to 12 people now. <laughs> it's just dead people everywhere. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Never a dull moment in Dwarf Fortress. And of course, there's no water, because normally what you can do is you, you can have your dwarf drink water, but the brook, which should be here, is totally dried up. Or rather, is frozen over, I think. Whatever it is, it's not there at the moment. Oh, a pile of vomit. Lovely. Oh, they're getting cave adaption already? Oh, Jesus. Yeah, people are starting to get unhappy. <laughs> oh, this is where you see it. Stocks. That's what I was looking for earlier with the seeds. I knew there was a button for it. Yeah, it tells you what seeds you've got here. If you're ever looking for it, you need a bookkeeper to have the actual accurate numbers, but yeah, I think this is probably pretty terminal. <laughs> Nine, eight, 
<laughs> oh no, still a nine. Yeah, everybody's just dying. Which is uh, fairly typical of uh, your experience playing Dwarf Fortress. Losing is fun, remember? Uh, this is pretty bad, <laughs> but this just shows you, like, I haven't played this in... Oh gosh, I don't think I've played Dwarf Fortress for, like, th at least three years. Um, and, yeah, I think I went way too big too early on, but... Because uh, they're just... just they're all, uh, they're in a death spiral now. I could maybe fix it, but I can't be bothered. <laughs> so, yes, this is a failed fort. Um, still, we've got some cool stuff. We've got a little drawbridge we can pull up and trap ourselves inside forever. Um, we, we, you know, that, that was kind of cool. Like, but yeah, we did it. We've, don't have enough booze or or things to drink. So now we're all dying. <laughs> hmm. Can we maybe screw the world over? Like let's let's explore. Um Dig. Dig 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 diggity dig dig dig. Down to Ooh, how far down can we go? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Dig. <laughs> I don't even know if we have anyone who can mine with a pick left. I doubt it. And they're certainly not going to want to, but... Eh! You know, it's cool. We've got nine people. Well, there's nothing to drink. They're 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 gonna they're gonna die. <laughs> no one is dying. No one is dying yet. Like without drink, they will not survive. And I do have drink queued up. Um, like. I did. But yeah, there's no water. Either. Who needs water? Well, dwarves don't need water unless they're sick. However, they do need liquid in the form of something. So they prefer alcohol. So they will just drink beer or ale or rum or wine quite happily. But, if you don't have any drink, and you have no water, <laughs> they will die. If you don't have any drink, and you do have water, they get annoyed. Um, but, uh, yeah, no... <laughs> this is super important. <laughs> like, someone make some booze. Yeah, look, we have some drink. We might be able to keep them alive for, like, a few minutes. <laughs> Just... But yeah, no, in Dwarf Fortress, it's the other way around. The luxury is is water. Water is the luxury. Or, like, for sick people. Yeah, this is, this is just... This is just a failed fault at this point. Uh... Well, I mean, I still had fun. <laughs> Uh, you know, we had pro monkey problems. I did a cool drawbridge thing. I actually remember how to do it. Um, actually, we might be able to survive this. The drink is going up, but uh, I think I'll <laughs> I think I'll call it a failed fortress because it's so bad, and I'm gonna get absolutely roasted in the comments uh, of this when I put it up on YouTube. But um, yeah, failed fort, failed fort, quick fort. That's sort of your typical experience playing Dwarf Fortress. You will fail a lot. Uh, even if you know, kind of, I, I mean, I've played it before. I know what to do, kind of. Um, like, I understand the problem. We could probably recover it from here, but um, I'm going to 
say that this fort is uh, done. <laughs> Let me know um, if you want to see more Dwarf Fortress content. I'm more than happy to actually have a proper go at it rather than me just messing around and having a wee play around with it. Uh, make a proper attempt, uh, new fortress, um, and actually, you know, learning it and doing it properly. If that's something you're interested in, like the video, subscribe, comment, uh, join the Discord, all that good stuff. Uh, and maybe I'll see you again soon for some more Dwarf Fortress. Bye for now.